Hello my friends, this is the second part of flip through number three. So this is where we left off, sitting this neck. And <laughs> I taped this in here because this is like one of my favorite um, car deodorant, I guess. Sorry, I can't pronounce it very well. My English is not too good. I was upset in here. Some writing, more writing, more more receipt. <laughs> I just thought this was really cute, so I, and I really like that too. I cut it down from the magazine as well. And I went to a rummage sale, which I bought a dream catcher. I really liked it. Eating more ramen noodles and some ticket I bought, and I didn't want anything. <laughs> and I just thought this was really cool. I was obsessed with Scooby Doo when I was young, so yeah. Trying out some pens I bought. And more incense. White sage, one of my very favorite incense to burn. I ordered a water brush. I just wanted to try one because I thought they were pretty cool, but I haven't even used it yet. Alrighty. For me, my hand represents life, always since I was a child. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm sick. And that's why my voice sounds kind of weird today. <laughs> Make art with yourself. More writing. I traced my phone and then just, I guess, doodle. I don't know how to doodle, so I just. <laughs> and I was upset. And me writing random words, stuff that came to my mind. I was just writing random words in this page. I bought these three journals for $5.98 at Barnes & Nobles. I already fin filled out this one. I still need this too. <clears throat> More quotes. Loneliness and the feeling of being unwanted is the most terrible poverty. From Mother Teresa. Yep, true. Because sometimes I just want to scribble, feel free in the pages, you know? I was stressed, I guess, so I was just doing that. Art therapy when words are not enough. Tracing a tile multiple times. I was upset. As you can tell, it's just, I write really big and scribble when I'm upset. Okay, here I bought another journal. For eleven ninety six at Barnes & Nobles as well. Some makeup stuff. Another doodle. And I was feeling depressed in here. <laughs> I'm 
Fridays. And once again, my roommate left this note for me. I know, she's awesome. <laughs> I finished all of the Hello Kitty stickers, so I kept the little, I don't know what that is called, but I'm, I put it in here and just drew lines over it to fill out the space. Writing and circle art, tracing washi tape left <laughs> because why not? I actually like how it looks <laughs> and once again I was feeling depressed so I wrote life should be beautiful but I'm here right now some dark place <laughs> so this is life beautiful and then I'm here I need to get out of there then give my life some color and then there's a sun with different color rays Sometimes letting things go is an act of far greater power than defending or hanging on, like we're told. I was just depressed because of one of my ex-boyfriends, so yeah. <laughs> Those who move forward with a happy spirit will find that things always work out. Be happy. Sometimes I want to be little again. I found it at Pinterest, this quote. And then I wrote this. The future is in a thought. Swinging can be the best thing. Oh yeah, and climbing trees. Climbing trees. Oh, my childhood. Please come back. Yeah, when I was little, I used to climb trees a lot, so... Yeah, I miss my childhood. <laughs> Yay, I'm finally done with this journal. A new journey begins with the next. We shall see what happens. Excited for a new beginning. And I was done at 11.58 p.m. So, yes. That was this journal. And the next one will be this one, which is a composition book. And it starts like this. And a new beginning starts today. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.